Hello, my gorgeous, sparkly, glorious cancer. Welcome to your love tarot reading. This is going to be for you and your person, my darling, boo boo. Whatever that means to you, situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage, boo boo. There's already cards coming through. Look, you're you're in the reading here, okay? This is a uh, cancer, my cancer, boo boo, water sign, queen, king, anyone in between of cups, and the eight of wands. So, um, I think someone's thinking of messaging you someone's or someone's sending you energy either way i think you feel you feel your boo boo and your energy we'll see if that's a good idea oh my god cancer we, we haven't even gotten to your reading yet and there's already messages coming through look it's a temptation there's a double here there's a tower something ended really badly <sighs> boo boo i i don't know i feel like the advice here already is you know before you answer that text message or before you send it think well and good but we'll see we'll see there's some kind of a uh, feeling of rejection here for sure something ended very badly and something or someone is a temptation let's see what's going on here cancer uh please show me angels cancer sun moon rising venus the situation oh my gosh it's always it's always interesting when the message comes through, uh, this, uh, you know, the, the, oh my God, there's just so much coming through, too much. Someone was a trickster, someone tricked you, the magician. All right, uh, let's just do the spread now. Please show, show us angels what's going on for my darling Cancer. Also Cancer, you know, with these uh, you versus them love tarot reads, we're assuming that there's some kind of a rift or separation happening between you and your boo-boo. Someone, someone hanging in the air, even if you're still talking. All right, all right. Well, there's definite, okay, well, this person is on your mind. I feel like you're on their mind, even though we both know there was a toxic element to this connection. You cannot get over each other. You could be dating or in a disconnected relationship or connection with a Scorpio. We got judgment here. You had the Queen of Cups. Um, there's a lot of Scorpionic energy here, quite possibly. I'm a Scorpio. Uh, sun and rising so maybe that's coloring the reading with boo but you know definitely maybe another water sign but someone who's feeling very strongly about you uh, both people I feel like both you and your boo boo are thinking about reconnecting here I think there's a definite breakup there is a definite break here I think your person left the connection or left you in the in the lurch not knowing what happened here but before we get into the spice of life in this reading my darling a cancer welcome to blue angel love tarot if you're new and if you are a returning blue angel thank you I love you. I appreciate you. I see you, baby. Mwah. Give me a kiss, Cancer. We're like two little cousins. Two little, you know, uh, cousins with little, you know, we're like two little crustaceans. I always, I like saying that. It's kind of weird that I say that, but whatever. I like, I like saying that. So, uh, Bibu, so yeah, someone's thinking about you really intensively and like they're in your energy. So uh, if there's someone, you know, whoever is on your mind, this person on your mind, whoever that is, baby, um, they're thinking about you and they want to reunite with you. we got the lovers here. This is their energy towards you right now. Their heart is hurting without you. Life is not the same as it used to be without you, Bibu. Even if it was a bimbo himbo from Tinder, anyone in between you met on a Tuesday, they're like, where's my cancer, you know? But they, they either ghosted someone either because there i saw the tower there so someone either ghosted you left you in the lurch left you without any kind of explanation or someone it was a sudden uh, a, a breakup here because of toxic behavior let's see what the devil was about tell me please angels what was the devil about why did this person ghost or break up this relationship or connection the higher fun okay boo -boo. so be careful with this person there, okay, there are two things going on here. For some of you, uh, this person, there are ideological differences between you. Okay, okay with the Hierophant, two different traditions. Could be pol political, cultural, social, you know, whatever it is. You wanted two different things out of the relationship. One person wanted uh, an open relationship. One person wanted a more traditional, whatever it was. There were differences in ideology here for some of you. For others of you, this person was secretly married. If it was a bimbo himbo from Tinder, anyone in between, you met on a Tuesday, boo boo. Unfortunately, what I am seeing here is they had a, co a commitment somewhere else, all right? Um, they had a commitment somewhere else and they didn't tell you about it. And if it was, you know, if, if it was someone you were in a committed relationship with, I feel like, yeah, I feel like, you know, they were constantly, you, you got more Scorpio energy here at the bottom of the deck, you got the death card. So I do feel like this person was a kind of going back and forth between you and another relationship that had ended. So, you know, this is, um, this is uh, a connection between you and this person where th there could have been a lot of arguments and a lot of drama because this person was kind of close to the ex, you know, like it's like, 
they were sharing, you know, uh, they were still sharing bills or sharing children or sharing, you know, something that was like, it was like an unnatural relationship, almost unnaturally close. And it really bothered you. And it was like a constant source of worry. Uh, or it could also have been, you know, ideologies were different, uh, what you wanted out of the marriage or the connection was different. And you were arguing about it a lot. And it turned kind of toxic. Uh, and I do see, you know, it, there was a fall here. The tower, you know, that's, that is not a good way to end a situation. But I feel like this person feels very ashamed right now. They feel a little bit like a coward too because they do feel like they left you in the lurch with the five of pentacles. They feel like they abandoned you, okay? They feel like they did a, a dishonorable thing and they would like to fix it, baby. So it's up to you whether you want to, you know, accept them. I'm sorry, I don't mean to like smirk at this, but I just like, I feel this person's shame and I feel like how little they feel right now. And I just, I do feel a little bit sorry for them. Not to excuse the, the situation, but it's like, you know, it's the, it's, it, it, someone had a fight, uh, opened the door and left and never came back, you know? Where someone, you were arguing, arguing on the phone, someone hung up, never called back you know like it's that kind of an energy it doesn't have to be literal this is a general reading on the internet because so you know take these messages with a grain of salt but this person uh, feels very small and tiny for what they did. Uh, they're currently in their intentions uh, trying to assess the situation. Uh, they want to do right by you. They want this to work, but they're not sure how to make it work. They want to uh, nourish this connection somehow, and they do want to find a solution for the both of you. Uh, this is All of this is coming back energy. You've got the Judgment and the Six of Cups. These, all of these cards are just like flying out of the deck, baby. Uh, so um, also we have a message here uh, coming towards you uh, within a month, uh, within an hour, a, a day, a week, or a month, this person will be sending you a message and it's going to be one of those, you know, like uh, for some of you, this is a connection that is like over, over, because like the tower is like over, over. It will be shocking to you to receive this message from this person. Um, it could be someone, you know, that uh, for a while you've not been speaking. I see even, I would say, even 20 months or something like that could be or two years or for some of you many 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 years even um but you know it all depends on your timeline whoever is on your mind uh, so it could have been something something could have ended in uh as uh recently as gemini season the share with you so it all depends but someone is coming in with a message it will be quite shocking to you because you really think that it's over you think this person I, what i'm getting the message i'm getting is a cancer you think this person hates you but they don't hate you um they um they uh, overreacted is what they're thinking right now. They overreacted and they miss you greatly. Their heart, poor little heart is hurting. Oh, we get that a lot for cancer, don't we? We get these messages. So, you know, I feel like um, there is this uh, energy of someone out there whose heart is aching because of the separation. And they're definitely coming in to talk, to apologize and to work it. They want to work it out. So expect a message. It could be quite shocking, cancer, but it's because this person can't help but come back. Six of Cups is like definitely, you know, someone coming back from the past here and judgment is like they're coming back but it's going to be like whoa whoa <laughs> you again you know what i mean but this person loves you so you know if you feel like it's um, not irreconcilable differences i would you know at least hear them out hear what they have to say because they're coming in uh, with a very stable energy here with uh, the uh, Seven of Pentacles, boo -boo. Uh, So this is what I have for you today, Cancer. Uh, let me know in the comments below if this is your story, my darling. Also, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe, turn on that notification button, and of course, like the video, because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube, my darling. Also, uh, if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is down below. I love you, my darling, beautiful, gorgeous, sparkly diamond encrusted cancer i'll see you tomorrow my darling mm, i'm gonna miss you but we'll have to survive somehow uh, i'll see you tomorrow and may the angels protect you boo boo